Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Where it's been a little while, but we're back. Uh, we were last playing around with a speedy ship. And it definitely had room for improvement. I mean, the speed that it could maintain is pretty fast, but the defenses couldn't keep up. Oh no, not again. Philip B, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't mean the not again Philip B, I mean the not again... Every single time I run Mix It Up lately, it doesn't initialize in one click. Which it usually does. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, there we go. Boss greeting. Boss greeting. Where is it? Am I blind? Yes, I am. There we go. Welcome on in. Uh, now where where were we? It's been it's been a minute since I looked at this save. We've been procrastinating refactoring Arcospheres for a while. Uh, they're well balanced and everything now. It's just that we need more machines for some of these builds. It's a good problem to have. Meanwhile, factory spaceship is jammed on which science pack? Energy 4. Energy 4, if we start down this rabbit hole, is missing what exactly? Arkael, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it looks like all we're missing for energy for is quantum processes, which is missing holmium cables. Hmm. I thought we sped that up. Is it just that the demand for them is redonkulous? Did we get rid of this? Like, is this supposed to be empty? Probably, it's scaffolding. Surely that's not supposed to be there anymore. I'm pretty sure we've got enough empty space in this to pick it up. Um, but yeah, what's going on with Holmium Cables right now? Holmium Cables? Uh, well, this build is going quite fast. We should probably start putting tier 9 prods in the Holmium Cable builds. Uh, there's another much larger one down here, which is also uh, doing quite well, actually. Hmm. So, what's going on with Holmium Cables? Did we mess up the system to bring them upstairs? Holmium cable uh, goes over here. Were we still in the middle of sorting this out? Is this one still doing the loop? Yeah, to bring the old Holmium cables into the system. Okay. What the heck is this? Oh, right. I remember. I changed. Huh. I think we're just playing catch-up, but maybe we need... We probably need more than one, uh... Train schedule for the whole meme cables. It might be time. I don't like the look of these gears. That is way too many. To be stuck in here. I'm just gonna pour them into the front. I wish we could just merge these two containers, honestly. Uh, but yeah, this one belt moving the whole meme cable 90 per second is a bit of a bottleneck. Especially while we're still playing catch up. We do have a belt pushing that pushing the whole meme cable straight from here to here. 
but that's not always active. Once again, we're in an awkward spot because short trains are picking up this stuff sometimes. Evening, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Philip B, welcome in. Also, don't see a reason why to cap the front loader. Uh, because if there's less than, like, a very large amount, uh, it's just going to get, um, it's going to get imbalanced. The trains are going to be confused. Not Steel Mage, welcome in. What's on the menu for today? Squirrels or rabbits? Rabbit season, duck season? Uh, who knows? We'll see. I think the whole thing's going to be one big squirrel because I don't even know... Uh, what I'm doing at this point. What is this? Plastic? Um, have we not finished moving the plastic from the old system? I thought we had, because I, I don't see... Well, let's search for plastic, I guess. Storage. Plastic. Uh, bulk rail load. Here it is. Okay, so I already removed that a little bit prematurely, I guess. Uh, so where's our plastic train? Is it this one? Could you please... Did we already name this one? We did. That makes it a little bit trickier. Uh, where's the plastic, actually? Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought I knew where it was. There it is. Below the coal. So we're going to name this old plastic... Cavern? Long You'd... time no see. Long time no see. Thank you so much for the 17 months. Uh, thank you for the support while I took a little break. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, so we want to change this to pick up old plastic. Wait till full or wait for... Five seconds of inactivity but also at least some plastic. There we go. Yeah, we've got trains constantly picking up a uh, holmium cable. I feel like either we're playing catch up or we're going to need more than one of these schedules moving holmium cables. I'm sure we'll find uh, a leftover spot somewhere or other as we move the last few items into the new system. Or we could just, like, have two trains bring up the Holmium cables. Okay. Uh, so are we making these again? No? Maybe I should prioritize them. There must be quite a few places that are requesting Holmium cables. Wait, are we on a loop here? Is that what's happening? This is a vanilla schedule. Oh no, it's... It's been going around in circles. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, Holmium Cable is here and here. We need to rename this to Old. And then make this one... Go for the old Holmium Cables. Wait for full, or wait for inactivity, and 
At least one Holmium cable. Bruh. Well, that might explain it. Although I'm not sure why we're not getting... Uh, I guess I can see why we're not at least getting some Holmium cables picked up here. Okay. And this is why we double check instead of just assuming science will sort itself out. Now it's being delivered somewhere. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure Iron Gear has already been sorted out. And Cryonite. Cryonite rods. Yeah. Pretty sure we dealt with those. I think Cryonite rods were up here somewhere. It's with coal? Yes, indeed. Uh, Alright, so what's next? Did we clean this up? We did. Fantastic. What should we do next? Still going to take a while to clear all this out. So we've still got stone, coal, rail, uh, and I guess biomatter. Wasn't the only reason that we brought biomatter upstairs was to make bio sludge to get it started? but now it's, like, not a very good way to do it. Is there anything we want to make in space, specifically with biomatter? All the way to the very end. It looks like the answer's no. Yeah, I think we could probably just get rid of it. That in itself is going to be a bit of a pain, but anyway, we can... Probably check that off the list. Uh, Holmium cable is being moved. Rail is the only thing left here. Stone and coal are the only things left here. Ice. Definitely want to keep that. Uranium-235. I thought we moved... No? No, I guess we didn't do that yet. Ice... U-235, U-238. Why did I remove the tags already? If we haven't already... What the heck is... No. Uh, if we haven't already moved these things. Oh, here we go. There's uranium. It is up here. Yeah, I thought I put those green things together. Okay. So we just haven't properly finished moving the old stuff. Why is it still here? Like, why did we not finish that? Let's borrow this train. And we're going to rename these old. So they have a unique name. Uh, pick this up, wait till full, or wait till inactivity with item count. And take that over here, please. That'll sort that one out. And we should have another train lying around for a similar task. Uh, was it over here? Nope. Was it over here? Yes, it was. Wait till full. 
wait for inactivity, wait for item count, U-235, drop it off over here. That should get those sorted out eventually. There's a few sticks left over here, and aeroframe scaffolds. Um, can we just bring those to the mall? Should be able to get it all done in one trip. Looking forward to dismantling these old blocks. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so the only thing left here is the cables. Which are being emptied out. We don't have a train doing the old cable schedule, right? I'm pretty sure. I guess uh, if we mark that for decon, then... If that train still exists, it won't be able to leave. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, so there's this that we want to get rid of. This that we're getting rid of. This one's actually empty, except for rail. Where are we doing rail? We haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so rail, ice. Already moving the uranium. Coal and stone. That's four. We also need to do uranium fuel cells, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure there's some recipes that they go directly into uh, for science. Yeah, interstellar void probe. And also Asteroid Belt Probe. Is it going to be the odd one out? I think we retired bringing refined concrete directly upstairs. And Iron Beams probably came to the same conclusion. Gun Turret, Biolab, Crusher, Greenhouse, Loader. It's all mole stuff. Yeah, we don't, we don't need to be bringing this up the elevator. We might need a few iron beams in the mall, but we can just make them in the mall. And to hell with the uh, productivity bonus. Much more stack efficient to bring up iron ingots, I suppose. Oh, and where am I? Where's the door on this thing? Here we go. Go dismantle that old train. Not before we recover these. Where are you off to? And why is it taking so long? Hmm. Must have dumped some steel plate in the mall at some point. It's quite slow loading here though. Didn't we deprioritize this station? No, it's really high priority. I guess because we don't want to have 150 stacks of anything. But are we accidentally supplying 150 stacks of steel plate in particular? I don't see any requests for steel plate. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. Okay. Okay. 
Right, so these are empty. This is empty except for rare metals. Oh, we're still moving rare metals. Well, as we probably should be until I set up the drop-off for them. So we're left with rail, coal stone, rare metals, uranium 230, well, no, not 230, uranium fuel cell, uh, and that's it. I think that's everything. And any empty spaces will be left over for, like, duplicating, uh, having another channel to bring up a uh, holmium cable or something. Do toy require... Do you request more than 150 stacks of steel in the solar block? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's probably it. That's why we've got bots going back and forth there all the time. Let's do a refactor. We've stared at this... Well, not stared. We've ignored this long enough. Let's redo... Uh, let's see. We're starting with solar panels. And we're ending at flat solar panel. Do we really need a rail export for these different types of solar panels, though? I'm pretty sure we do for some of them, actually, yeah. Solar Flat solar panel 1 goes into asteroid belt probe. Flat solar panel 2 goes into star probe. And flat solar panel 3 goes into nothing, actually. So maybe, I mean, we could just LTN it back to the mall, I suppose. Uh, and we do probably want to have the multi-spectral mirrors. Which definitely goes straight into certain recipes. Gamma ray detector. Maybe we should do that on the spot as well. X-ray observation frame... Polarization data, flat solar, of course. Telescope. Okay, so uh, these are more things. Okay. What about the gamma ray detector? That literally only goes into gamma ray observation frame. I bet we're making it on the spot. Uh, no? No, we have a half block for those. It's only eight machines, which is probably way more than we need. We do need to bring three other resources in, so I guess it's not... It doesn't not make sense. Maybe I could refactor and do, like, all of this and this in one block, though. Let's see what we can come up with. Evil Pla, Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Alright, remove this. Remove this. Place in a default block. Add plating, which we'll remove later. And see if we can figure this out. Okay. I'm pretty sure for some of these recipes a regular space assembler might be enough. Then again, it's probably more UPS friendly just to have a faster machine. Flat solar panel... We're going to need at least three different types of those. Uh, and we need to start from regular solar panel. Unless we want to ship those up the space elevator. Maybe it would be more stack efficient if we did. Hmm. 
So we've got 5% of a stack, plus 10% of a stack, plus like a bit less than 10% of a stack. So like 22 and a half, let's call it. And then another 5%. Uh, less than 30% of one stack makes less than 2%, or it makes exactly 2% of one stack. I don't think we need to do the exact math to prove that it would be way more train efficient, space elevator cable efficient to bring uh, regular solar panels up the space elevator. Or maybe instead of regular solar panels, uh, it could be advanced solar panels. I mean, these are one to one. Oh, wait, no, the advanced have a stack size of 20. Whereas this is 50. Five percent, ten percent. And each of these are five percent of a stack. So I guess regular solar panels, but not necessarily advanced solar panels. Uh, it might make a lot of sense. To bring straight up the elevator. Is there no reason to bring silicon up the space elevator? If we stop making solar panels up here? Now I'm gonna feel silly. Uh, okay. Let's just pretend we didn't see that. Let's just make the solar panels on the spot. So we need... Solar panel, advanced solar panel... Flat 1, flat 2, flat 3. And... Multispectral mirrors? Are there like two recipes for this? I forget. Yeah, there are. One with iridium plate. So it's... One LDS, one heat shield, six glass, three steel plate, ten, ten lube, who cares, one chemical gel. Versus a lot more chemical gel, five, half as much lube, ten, five times the chemical gel. Only two glass, no heat shield, and... Honestly, does this make more scrap? It does. One multi, one multi. Honestly, I think we're better off spending more of the basic resources and dealing with less scrap. Because anything that we don't have to bring from off-planet is effectively free at this point. I should probably go with this recipe. Uh, so what kind of ratios are we looking at? But how do we... How fast do we even need solar panels? Last 50 hours. Consumption. Zero flat solar threes? Oh, right, because they don't actually go in any recipes. We've made 0.6 per minute. Uh, 0 0.6 per minute, 0 0.6 per minute. Okay, it's like less than one per minute. I don't think there's a universe where we have to worry about the actual throughput of solar panels. Ninja dogs, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, at least not now that we've got all the panels that we want. Um... So really just put, like, the minimal number of machines together to make it happen. Hmm. Can we do, like, a better formation for this? How about...
Where are my good inserters? That, into that, into that, into that. What kind of ratio are we looking at with no modules? Per minute, 60, 60, 30, 15, 10. Way faster than we ever need. Yeah, we don't need to, uh... We don't need to worry about speed with these. Just a question of how elegant of a build can we make. But also, uh, so I want to keep it fairly small. I mean, maybe we could even use these smaller ones. Christoph Game, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we can't make the flats with the smaller machines. Yeah, no. Okay. In that case, I kind of want to do it a little bit like this, but then I don't know if we can, like, fit it in a small build. Maybe... Maybe even this is fast enough. We're looking at 7.5 per minute, which is way faster than we're using them. Hold on, no, there are things that consume the solar panels, just not the tier 3s. How many star probes do we need per minute? Uh, they give us a thousand data cards, and we're looking for three data cards per second. So, 180 per minute, divided by a thousand, right? Wait, 18 star probes per minute. And we only need 10 flat solar panels. Uh, so times 10. 1.8. We need like 1.8 flat solar panel 2s per minute. Okay. So anything on the scale of like 10 per minute or something is probably all we ever need. And that's without putting speed modules in. Oops. Yeah, we're looking at 5 with this already. Alright, yeah, so we'll just, like, slap some modules in, I guess. We'll just do some tier 6s that we kind of take for granted by this point. What's this? Plus 600, plus 200, plus 80. Uh, minus 80, rather. 2 megawatt. You know, 2 megawatt is not much. It's like nothing in space. When all of these are running, it's like we have one beacon sitting idle. 55, BG Diamond, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, so how many inputs do we need? Way too many, right? I, like, if we look over here, we've got one fluid only. Which is being hijacked over here. Uh, the only thing we need a fluid for is the advanced solar panel. Uh, but then we've got... 13 different solids. So, bot drop-off makes a ton of sense. It's gonna look pretty similar. Maybe we could make it a little bit smaller. Let's see how we can... I'd also like to do all the multi-spectrals and the gamma ray detectors on the spot over here. Let's see how we can fit it around our train stops. I'd like to do the usual drop-off. That's not a drop-off. And 
And I guess I forgot to clean up some of the rail from the last build. That's fine. We could do direct insert for some of this, but it really doesn't matter. I don't suppose there's a layout where we could have, like, one big container. That would have to be an odd size. Mm. Not really. I mean, we could direct insert these, but it'd be lopsided. Uh, and let's figure out where... Where are our output stations going to go? We need three output stations here, even if this one only services the mall. Uh, so yeah, I think what we did here makes perfect sense. Just like uh, this. And this. So I don't suppose we could line it up so that we just direct insert this straight into the output as a matter of convenience. Maybe we could do that at all of these. If we're going to use up this space anyway. Simply direct insert. And I Yes, that takes up a little bit too much space. We could put this nice and close to the fluid. Pity it doesn't line up. That should actually be like one tile down. So should this one, the symmetry. Okay. I don't suppose we can fit a huge storage tank here. We're like one off, we're literally one off. That's a little bit annoying. I don't think we'll be going through a whole lot of fluid though. 95 uh, fluid per second if we're making 3.8 solar panels per second, which is way faster than we need. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about the shape of the fluid flow. Although just having the trains drop off the fluid quickly would be nice. I guess if we don't request too much, then it's going to pump quite quickly anyway. How about we put this here? Oh, that actually sort of does line up. We can just put one little piece of pipe over here. And like that. Okay, so we're going to want... Do we really need this much storage space? Kinda. It's four containers. 48, 96. We're asking for like 1.5 trainloads of each, and this is almost enough to contain two. So kinda, yeah. Why do we have storages for scaffolding here? Oh, because we were building out solar up here, I remember. Yeah, so we can we can write that off. 
But I guess... Okay, we're not going We're going to directly supply the multi-spectral mirrors. So that's one less drop-off that we need. So we're down to 12 times 4. Which is still quite a lot. I guess we could put this stuff up here, but I'd rather... Do it something like this. It's not as close to the train stop as it would normally be, so the bots will be a little slower. These are just barely not able to direct insert to each other. Oh well. Give me a deep space. And we'll just direct belt that over here. That actually just barely fits. Nice. And this one can go here. We need to filter it though. Wait, no, we don't. There's only one output. That seems fine. And then we just do some requesters. I guess we could probably get away with just one requester chest for both of these. Superconductive, Naquim cube, flat solar panel. And a few stacks of each of these. That should be fine. I'm going to need a, a RoboPort. You know what? I kind of want to put the uh, pipe over here, actually. So that we can put these nice and close. Oh. That's uh, fine. Alright, let's use... Small robot port. And this over here is basically just for the reach. I guess we can put it like here. Or here. As long as it doesn't touch a neighbor. Uh, and we're going to have to copy most of uh, most of these requests. We're just not bringing the multi-spectrals by train. The rest is going to be the same. No space platform scaffolding either, please. Uh, so it was 10, 11, 12, 13. Cool. And also a fluid. Wait, the nitric acid is there. Yeah, yeah, 12 plus nitric acid. All right. Uh, and I guess since the pipe can't reach like this, we'll just do it this way. Okay. And then we 
we just need some more requesters. Why does this look so weird? Because that wasn't on the edge down here, that's why. And that should be fine. Actually, I feel like this is a little bit more readable, I suppose. That'll do. Not using any buffer chests here, but I'd rather not miss it. Limit these to 50 stacks. Seems good. May as well copy the station details over here. I guess that is actually sticking out over the edge. But well, now we have room to put this down here. Okay. So we want to make these two on the spot as well. Spectral mirror. 50 hours. Uh, 22 per minute. So if we double that, maybe that's enough. And 2.8 per minute. Not a whole lot of demand there. Let's see. 228 per minute. Yeah, I think... I think one machine for each of these will be enough. So how should we lay this out? Requester. Wait, did that... No, that, that's where it's supposed to go. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe direct insert these. They do share a fluid, so we only need to bring three fluids. Maybe we'll do, like, two drop-offs with direct insertion for everything, though. I think that's right. Yep. So we can put this here. Um, how about we line it up so that the fluid that's unique to that particular drop-off can go straight in. And can we fit this? That actually lines up beautifully. Just need to make sure the fluid from the other wagon is connected. That's a little bit more awkward. Can't exactly pipe under this. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to end up liking how that looks. We 
We could do like fluid tanks on the inside, but these two would collide. Mm, maybe we shouldn't put them this close together, actually. Then again, I do kind of want the f shed fluid drop off. It lives. Lord Seru, Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I mean, I could do some vanilla tanks. Kind of awkward looking. But we'd have room to get some pipes through here. What if we rotated it so that... I don't think we can fit that on both sides, can we? No. One off. Pardon me, I've got this terrible stiffness in my neck today. Try sitting up a bit more straight. Where am I going to do the outputs? Down here? I think it might end up working out better if we do it something like this. With the two output stations over this way. Which one of these needs multispectrals? Only flat solar panel one. Uh, so we'll directly belt that away over here. These are going to get in the way, aren't they? It doesn't go far enough. Okay, let's just place these after we figure out where we want this. Small RoboPot. How about right about here? Should be fine. Okay. I guess we've got a lot more room to move this back if we want, but I kind of want to have direct insert working since we've got so many items to put in. Which means the closest that we could put it, uh, the, the furthest away we could put it is here. Which doesn't exactly leave us room to do a tank like this. At least not if we want to pump it straight into a container. I think I'd rather it look like this anyway. Mm. If we do this, it's just a question of how awkward looking it's going to be to connect it like that. I guess that's not too bad. I could probably live with that. Oh, this generates scrap as well, doesn't it? Does the other build? No. Which means we need another output. Oh, no. 
I mean, we could probably squeeze one in here somewhere, but it's going to look a little weird. I too am feeling stiff, slept funky last night. Unfortunate. What are we doing and why isn't it reworking Arcospheres for the 50 millionth time? Uh, because Arcospheres are working, they're just slow. They're very well balanced. It's fine. Be not alarmed, citizen. Uh, I guess we have to filter this for the actual multi-spectral mirrors. And... I'm probably going to squeeze in the scrap pickup, like, over here somewhere. Or something. I guess we could probably do it like this. Can we... Can we even fit the signaling for that? I think the answer is no. Frickin' rails. Really? Can't even put that in there. Let me just fill out these signals while we're at it. Make sure we don't forget. And that one's already there. Yeah, how am I supposed to... Oh, I think we had this problem once before. I'm trying to figure out how to squeeze in this extra bit of rail right here, and there was only one place it fit. And that was only after we moved the train stops back slightly. From the middle. Man. Can we really not... Can nature really not find a way? One off. I guess we could just not signal this part. No, that still doesn't work. If it comes in, if we don't block these and this comes in from here. I, I guess. I'm not a fan of this. It also doesn't reach with a long arm. We could probably just... Output our scrap here. Let's call this plan B. Not the hugest fan of that build. But these two being part of one, or three being part of one uh, rail sector probably shouldn't be that big of a deal. Because the overall traffic to this area shouldn't be that much. So maybe that's about as good as it gets. Oh, we should be able to fit some signals here, though. Maybe? Just barely. Okay, so it's really just these two stations that share a rail... Uh, ...sector. Because we can't fit signals to allow trains to go in both directions here. Alright, 
So this is gonna go. I guess we could do the same thing over here. Down this way. So we've got a little bit of a reserve. Actually, let me check. Multi spectral mirror. Do we need short trains to pick you up? Um, I don't think so. Let's have a look. Storage. Long train, long train, long train. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about the balancing here. So we could just... It's kind of awkward. It's kind of very awkward. Do it this way. So we can have more storage. That seems fine. And the scrap should be so slow. 3.8 per second. But how fast do we actually make these? Last 50 hours, mirror... Is... Let's call it 22 per minute. So we're making like 22 scrap per minute. So maybe one stack per minute of scrap is what we're going to be looking at here. I don't think we need to worry about like more storage for that. Although I guess we could just do it this way anyway. Should be a long train only pick up. Um, okay. So this is our millionth scrap high priority pickup. Uh, I guess we can copy this from over here. for mirror provider. Long trains only, please. And this will be the same thing, but for gamma. Gamma ray detector. And I guess we'll mirror what we did over here. Just like that. Or Symmetria. Okay. Actually, why am I doing it on the side like this? We could do the outputs. I mean, it's kind of more symmetrical with the rest of the block, but... In... Keeping with our direct insert builds, what we usually do. This makes more sense. And we'll do the scrap on the side. And we'll probably find that this fits together better somehow. On the other hand, 
How the heck are we going to fit this here? We're not. We can just move the scrap output down a bit. To the halfway point. That's fine. That's better, I think. Much better. Should be plenty of room for... Nope. There's only enough room for the train if we put that signal there. Okay, then. Looks a little wonky. I feel like that's slightly better somehow. Okay. So... Now this doesn't fit. Direct insert. Speaking of which... And direct insert. And we just need to do the scrap. Maybe like this. And that is scrap. Why do you have solar panels in your block blueprint when solar beaming is an option? We need to build solar panels for various things, like uh, flat solar panel goes into... Uh, flat solar panel goes into asteroid belt probe. Flat solar panel 2 goes into star probe. So we do still need continuous throughput of solar panels, uh, even if we stop using solar panels. Uh, let's copy this little monstrosity for the fluids. the second fluid. Koha, welcome in. And that can go that. Well, I guess this might look a little less tacky. So... Uh, chemical gel goes here, and it is connected on both sides, and that doesn't connect. Granite fluid goes here. Lubricant goes here. Chemical gel goes here. Cool, cool, cool. We will need to check which fluid LTN is looking for and connect these somehow. I guess we'll borrow the inserters. Just as a connection point. But the inserters will be unconditional. And connect that to the LTN train stop output, which is going to give us a negative one signal for lubricant. If that's what the train is trying to output. And that should be the same here, except instead of lubricant, it's cryonite slush. Oh. Seems good. That's actually super neat. I like that. Um, and don't forget, we need to direct belt multispectral mirrors. Down here. And that's going to be pretty straightforward. I guess we'll do it like this. Cool. 
seems good. Now we just need to finalize it. So we're going to need a stack of Logibots. We're going to need a bunch of test inputs. Um, there's five builds here. One, two, three, four, five. I hope none of these have more than four different solids. They do not. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, these are already filtered, right? Yeah. So we'll just do, like, some passive providers. Filter inserters. Set filters blacklist. And fluid input, uh, which is only nitric acid. And that should be enough for all of this to run. The inserters are actually grabbing the flat solar panels before the loader, surprisingly enough. I kind of expected the loader to be greedier. Hmm. I mean, we could put an inserter here so that they take turns, but... It's going to saturate, like, fairly quickly. I don't really care if, um, if this has to saturate before this gets a build. Then again, maybe we should have some storage here. I guess we could always just add a container. That's not right. That's not right either. Oh, right. Yeah, an inserter would actually take turns here. That'll do. So two thirds of it, if there's any shortage, is gonna go to here. As the inserters take turns. I can live with that. Uh, and then we've got the same problem over here. But since uh, flat solar panels don't actually need to be produced for science at all, flat solar panel threes, uh, I don't mind letting this saturate before we get any of these. Radio Actwine, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Oop. Fantastic. Alright, so that whole chain works. And... We don't need to filter the fluids there. Alright, so let's do some test inputs over here. And this one is lube. And this one, crinite slush. And then we need beryllium plate, multispectral. Uh, and then we'll do the set filters blacklist. So that there's going to be room. And same thing over here. Mm. 
And that should be fine. I obviously forgot to put filters on these output inserters. Superior long filter. And this is going to be mirror. And this is already filtered for scrap. Cool. Seems good. I guess if these are going to take turns, then we don't actually have to limit this. I don't necessarily need that much of a backlog of flat solar panels, for example. Or mirrors, for that matter. But yeah, I think I like this. It's about as neat as we're going to make it. Much more direct insertion, direct belting. Less to do for trains when there's only one consumer, or like two consumers of these, uh... Well, there's a few, otherwise we wouldn't be exporting this, but yeah. Not as much train work to do here. Now then. Floor. Space. Clear out everything that's not strictly necessary. And then we'll paint in just a little bit more so it looks a little bit nicer. We're not going to be needing this. That looks a little strange, I won't lie. Yes, that, that's a bit better, I suppose. Why don't we just fill this out? Don't need these. Don't need these. Why is the scroll so slow? That's all our test inputs, right? Not quite. That seems fine. I guess that'll have to do. That looks weird now. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Blueprint? Wait, we haven't done all the train stops things. Uh, that's accurate enough, I guess. Everything requester. Uh, the flat solar panels 133. This one's already done. Uh, 
This one doesn't have requests. Uh, I guess we can probably copy that from here. It should be mostly correct, if not 100%. Except we don't need to request multi-spectral mirrors. So it's just going to be beryllium plate. Which means we can go all the way up to a train load and a half. Just to make it a little bit easier. Alright, so this is multi-spec uh, gamma ray actually. Gamma ray detector. Long trains only. I think we already did the settings for the scrap. And last but not least is multispectral mirror. Gonna be happy to see the back of these, uh, the messy old build for this. What is all of this? Very strange. Very strange indeed. Alright, blueprint. Uh, so this is mirrors. But let's just say solar panel and mirror. We'll put solar panel 3 and gamma ray. I think that represents what's going on here enough. Since we can't fit all five icons. Why is there still scaffolding? Oh, behind the solar panels. That's okay. Alright, snap to 86251. Uh, we're not using tier 9 modules, but I'm going to call it tier 9 just because this is our final build. Or it should be. Okay, tier 9, solar panels, and mirrors. Seems good. I guess we'll put it in components. I'm just going to put this here to represent that it's like final build. And as for where to build it, I was thinking right about here actually. Might be a bit of a pain to move all of this. Hmm. I think we can manage. Switch off the request. Uh, unlimit these containers. So we'll drain out some of these resources. And I guess we can make a start while that's happening. I was about to jump into the editor, but that's not a good idea while we're in the train. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll just... Well, first of all, let's make sure these are switched off, the requests. I didn't actually do the requests for this side, that's fine. And then blueprint this side. Wait, did I include the tiles? I did. Okay. And place that. 
right about here? Is it going to be in the way of things? No, no, I think we're good. There's some rail in the way. Can I build on empty space? Cool, cool, cool. Look at these quaint, slow old machines with their red inserters. Adorable. How much is this going to drain out? Well, we did add a lot of space for output here, so probably all of it. Might have some fluids left over. Okay, so we'll put this here. We actually have the big containers on hand, except for the fluids. So this is going to be where these go. Might be easiest if we just grab this stuff. Rather than making some temp belts. Instruction train. Over here, please. And I guess I could start stealing these inputs. How fast is this? Might be easier to just wait. 30 per second with a stack size of 50. How fast is it consuming the inputs? 30 brilliant plate per second, it stacks to 200. It's not going to be that much longer till this drains out. Well, actually, where's the construction tra uh, too late? With the train here, it would have been a bit easier to make a temp direct belt. Oh well. I guess we can do this. You're ready to go already. Fantastic. Where are we? So this is going to be... Flat solar panels. Uh, gamma ray detectors. Multi-spectral mirrors, and the other two tiers of flat solar panel. Well, I guess I'll lay those out when we can see the stations. Now then. I guess we didn't need all that uh, flooring. I'll just rebalance it after this. Put some faster modules and inserters to speed it up, I suppose. That would make sense. How about some speed nines? I think we're going to be inserter bottlenecked instantly with that. Yeah, we are. Uh, how about... What just got upgraded there? 
nothing. So now we're output belt bottlenecked. Which isn't too bad. Uh, looks like we're about to run out of the multi-spectrals. That'll do. That didn't take very long. Look at those poor red inserters trying to keep up, right? Yeah, we'll just wait till that belt runs out and then we'll move stuff across and finish the build. Oh, I missed a spot in tidying this up. Down to the last two machines. Fantastic. Alright, so all of the beryllium plate, which is not that much left, nice, is going to go in here. Um, I kind of want the construction... Uh, Yeah, I kind of want the trains out of range while I use my own robot uh, robots for a minute. The factory must grow. Actually, it's been kind of shrinking on balance since we're porting things over to bigger, faster machines. Bowen, welcome in. Uh, we want to salvage... Oh, crap. I've got some spaceship floor. We want to salvage... Why don't I have pipe? I guess we can find some. Salvage some of this fluid. Beep, 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 beep. And furthermore, beep. Waste not a drop, despite how easily we can make it these days. And as for the cryonite slush, that actually goes down here. Uh, do I have some floor? Yes, I do. Makes it pretty easy. Should really put the pump at the other end. Whoops. Wait, can I stop bouncing? There we go. Alright. Just how many pieces of pipe do I need here? Oops. Must have lost like 30 crinite slush there. What a shame. All right, down we go. Can we not put this in? I think we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, so pretty much all the gel has been moved. Oops. Still 2.4k here, actually. Seventy per second. Why is it so slow? Hmm. Well, in any case. Let's pick up the rest of the solids while that's sorting itself out. Granite slush might take its sweet time getting pumped as well. Pick 
this up. Don't want the uh, random invisible items remaining in there getting put into the wrong train. Okay. Hurry up, please. Oops, that's fine. There we go. Pedantic? Yes. Get rid of the nasty old floor. Do I have room in my inventory? Maybe. We do have a bunch of beryllium plate here still. Whoa, too fast. There we go. And we'll give that pump just a little bit longer to sort itself out. Give me back that floor. And I think I left some, yeah, bonus floor down here. One twenty per second. We're almost there. New facts today? I actually haven't done Triple F for a couple of weeks either. Twenty minutes to go, fantastic. Alright, we're almost ready. to do the other half of this build. And it's small enough now to push the rest into the pipe. There we go. All of that should be empty. Fantastic. And there should be absolutely no old plating left, scaffolding, except for supporting the solar panels. Okay, now we can place that blueprint properly. Now where did we leave it? Here it is. Wunderbar. Let's get the trains back in. Have they done DST? Oh, Daylight Savings Time? Daylight Savings happened to Factorio last Sunday. Tragic. They always release 11 a.m. Factorio standard time. Indeed. All right, let's park our construction train right about here. And we should already have our plating. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we've already got drop-offs happening. That's fine. Yeah, I forgot the main blueprint has most has at least some of the requesters turned on. All right, so we didn't do requests for this one. We need LDS glass heat shielding steel plate. We can fit six train loads, which means we can rest uh, request a train load and a half of each. 
shouldn't be an issue. Heat shield. LDS. Uh, what was the other one? Steel and glass, right? Steel plate. And glass. Uh... Times 1.5. This actually needs to be... 100 hundred times 1.5. We also need... Lubricant. And chemical gel. And once we switch that on, it should all be on its way. We'll just deconstruct the one up here. It'll sort itself out quite quickly. Two trains on the way already. t -hacks, what have you managed to forget in this two-week break? Hope you enjoyed it. Uh... I've got my troubles for a brief moment. Tier 3 flat solar panel setup. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we're refactoring it a bit. Okay. Uh, have we turned this on? We have not. I guess we'll just do it now. And I think I made sure these were already switched off. Those are the only two requesters here. That should be fine. I'm really tempted to just let the fluids go to waste. But nah. We'll let the mole consume all of this. Oh. Welp. Hopefully we don't run out of space. And we'll revisit that in a little while. It's gonna take some time. Oh yeah, we need some Logibots to get this started. I don't have any on me. Let's go back to the mall for a second. I think our construction ship has them. Why do your trains look so much cooler than mine? Uh, because the mod is called Space Trains, I think it is. Space Locomotive, actually. Okay. Wait, that's our construction ship. Well, that's a construction ship. It should have bots here. There we go. Back to the build. Exactly 50 Logibots. Should be way more than we need here. But it's a small enough number to prevent crashes. They are, of course, very aggressive with filling up the requested chests. So not necessarily emptying the purple chests as quickly as they could. Um, but yeah, I think we I think we finished the build, right? So you can go home, and the construction train is already heading back. Where's our scaffolding train? It's back home, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. I 
And some of the items that are on their way here are already being taken from the mall since we started deconning this. That's going to take a little while. What a beautiful sight seeing this cleared out though. Hello there, Pospec, welcome in. Hope you're doing well, good to see you again. So we can see quite clearly what we're missing here. Glass, silicon, uh, whatchamacallisms, electronic components, chromium cable, aeroframe scaff, aquium cube, still on their way here. I thought I saw components here a minute ago. Maybe it was green circuits. I guess it had to be. You're not supposed to have floor underneath. I think I left that in the blueprint. Yeah, we can fix that very, very easily. Where's our electronic compos? Still not scheduled. Very weird. I can't imagine they wanted underground belts to just be wrongly named teleportation belts. Wait, what? Two for one bonus? They explicitly said the no holes was to help Incentivize area spaghetti. No holes. Can't wait for bot logic, right? There's our components. So now we're waiting on multispectral mirror and holmium cable. There's the holmium cable. What's taking so long with our heat shielding? And glass and lubricant. That's odd. I know we uh, slowed down the LTN schedule a, a little bit to get some UPS back. Maybe we overdid it. I'm sure we've got plenty of lubricant, for example. Can't tell the difference between a drop-off and a pickup. Nope, there it is. That's tons of lube. Nugria, welcome in. It would be fairly trivial, uh, trivial for them to simply invalidate any underground connection that has a floor gap. But my magic undergrounds... Or under-universes, I guess. Should have filled this bit out for the aesthetic. Hey, we have some plating on us. We're one off. That's just rude. That is so rude. I don't think I'm going to find somewhere to steal a piece of plating from for the aesthetic. Wow, that did not take as long as I thought it would. Although the recharging might. How full are we? Not very.
We're taking one of the recent triple F's, so not directly relevant. No, I'm talking about, yes. Uh, let's put our little tags in here. Flat solar panel. And flat solar panel too. That'll do. I wonder if we even need that in the middle. I don't think we do. No. That's kind of nice. Where's that blueprint? Boop. What is this? Oh, it's just the little flag that shows where the middle of the snap two is. Just a little bit hard to see. Actually, I kind of meant to have a little more scaffolding over here as well. Did we connect all of our LTN wires? Nope. Good thing we caught that one. Oh, and don't forget this either. Did I leave this switched off? No. It's kind of weird that we didn't already get this overfilled. Very strange, actually. Oh, I left out a digit for the fluids. Well, that makes sense. Lucky. This one looks good. I'm not standing on the track. No. Uh, this one looks good. I remember doing that. These are already good to go. I guess we can... Yeah, no need. Alright, so that should actually be finished now. Now, why are we not getting any heat shielding? Or glass, for that matter. Uh, where are we doing heat shielding and glass? Glass is down here. And it looks like we're playing catch up. So far, I've only got one train doing any one of these schedules. So they might be a little bit slow. Um, but did I... No, here's heat shielding. It's missing some items. Is trying to deliver to the mall. But more importantly, why are we not bringing up more heat shielding? We're trying to. And this is super imbalanced. Oh. Well, there's your problem. Hmm. This should be way more heat shield production than we need. But apparently there's been a run on it. Is this a beacon too? It's not. We can easily speed that up. Let's go downstairs. Boop. And boop. And construction train. Oh, it's empty. Shouldn't take too long to fill up.
Uh, what am I even looking for? Beacon 2s. Do we have those here? Yeah, we do. I don't think I've got automation to bring the beacon 2s down. We just periodically refresh them. Very slow demand for those. Haven't checked on our spaceships in a while. Holmium core frags are super saturated. So, uh, barrel? I think we're going to find it's the same everywhere, except maybe Vitamlange. Iridite, Vulcanite, uh, Vitamlange, not as much. Is it actually because the outposts are empty? 207,000. Uh, only 41k. 228,000, so that's a no, I would say. Don't tell me we still need more ships. We've got like, uh, don't we have 50? Yeah. Uh, I do believe we have 50 core egg haulers. More faster ships? They cost UPS, though. Why do we need more than 50? I mean, I know we're bringing core fragments directly, and they... The devs don't want you to do that, especially since they... Didn't the stack size used to be 100? It was at least 50. I think it was a hundred in point five. Uh, but yeah, literally every other resource, it looks like, we're totally saturated. Like, we're bottlenecked on processing, which is a good place to be bottlenecked. Not uranium, though, but I'm not that worried about uranium. Sounds more like you need to redesign either remote processing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid. Because it's messy. To higher density or expanding the storage of the ships. The ship storage is quite large. It's like 22,000 uh, core fragments per ship. And they're not necessarily... You're not necessarily better off uh, making them bigger, either. We managed to make a very tight little package here that runs off just a... pretty much just a couple of shields. With a very, very compact fluid isothermic power plant. If more ships is impossible, larger ships it is. Yeah, no, but as you go faster and or have a larger container stress or hull stress, you start running into bigger rocks and need more defenses and a bigger power plant and stuff, so it's not necessarily better overall. Glue them together? <laughs> yeah, you, you arbitrarily run into more and uh, thicker asteroids. It's not linear. Yeah, no, it's not. I'm still a little bit surprised we're struggling that much with Vinamalange. Or are we? Let's just double check. Okay, the fact that the first the first extract pickup that I look at is saturated is kind of encouraging. Yeah, I think we're doing better than I assumed. Or Vitamalange. Yeah, if most of these are saturated, we're actually probably... We're actually probably on our way to saturating Vitamalange already. 
But that said, science has been stopped for a little while. That's a lot of reagent and extract. Very nice. Maybe just produce too much at the outposts? I hope so. Yeah, Moss Garden is the nearer one, so... Well, actually, we don't have a priority system based on how close they are. We've got a priority system based on how much they've got available, uh, a hard priority if they're getting low on cables, and uh, the more of a certain resource we've got at home, the, the lower the priority uh, of a certain outpost. We've currently got five ships moving Vitamelange, four on copper... Only one on uranium. I did put some thought... I, I really want to do an even better, like, LTN-ish spaceship system next time. Which would move a lot more than just core fragments. Uh, basically, imagine if every, every outpost had a spaceship dock that was like... Kind of like LTN train stops. But it's very difficult to come up with a way to do that with the limitations of uh, the system that we're working with. Time to overhaul the base right now? No, no, no. We're not, we're not spending two years uh, overhauling this base. We might spend two years building a different one one day. But not before we finish this run and do something a little bit different for a while. Update me. I thought I did. Maybe I designed it and didn't build it yet. We're still in the middle of, well, several things. Why is there a hovering bot? No. It's only 10 of them, but still. We ask for 8,000 superconductive cables. That's 160 stacks, 1.6 train loads. We've got room for 4 times 48. 192 stacks. So LTN over delivered this. Why? Why would you do this? At least there's room for other resources in the active provider chest. So it's not going to cause a jam. But still. Multispectral mirrors. We're still waiting for heat shielding. Oh, that's right. That was That's what I was here to fix or speed up. Uh, heat shielding. Where did I put the new build? That is a surprisingly good question. Heat shielding. It's right next to Elder. There it is. Yeah, we've also got a bit of a train jam here because... LTN sent a train here because we had X stacks, but they're all lopsided. I don't understand why they are lopsided. Oh. We can also get rid of uh, the vanilla train stops here. Now that we've got the new system. Which means we can flow all of these vanilla train stop resources back. Into these containers. That'll help. A little bit hard to see what's going on there because purple belts are at such a frequency that they look like they're going backwards. Mm. 
that'll help. In the short term. Oh, this is... This one's also direct belting down here. That's probably part of why... Actually, no. I was going to say that's probably part of why the trains got stuck here. But if there were no trains taking from this stop, then it wouldn't have mattered. And this one is also direct belting. Okay. So we can't count on this being balanced. Hmm. Why you do this, LTN? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure that wasn't... Tell me how this could have been my error, right? We ask for 160 stacks maximum. We've got room for 192 in the yellow chests. And it sends significantly more than 192, or at least just a little bit more. Chance of pouring, welcome in. Set up a pimp my base challenge. That, would, that might actually be interesting content. Uh, I could see it just being tearing up what other people have built and making them sad, actually. Veldak, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How was your holiday? Not too bad, thanks. Alright, let's rebalance this at least. And maybe we just... give up on having huge storage for these. I mean, we'll still have three train loads of storage for each resource. Uh, for heat shields and LDS. I guess that's probably fine. So now we can get rid of the train still here? It is. Get rid of all of this. This one's still draining. I guess we'll unlimit these two. Oh, it's already full. Uh, because demand for LDS is not that high. Um, okay. Just pour it in there. Actually, I want something obviously temporary. Don't think we've got any yellow belts here or anything. Blue belts will do. Blue belts will do. And just get rid of this. I guess there's a little bit of room left in here for the moment. Uh, but yeah, no more need for... Vanilla train stops. Just to take things up the space elevator. So we should have heat shield upstairs by now, right? At that one build. Nope. Are we playing catch up with heat shield? Probably. Uh, 
How is that not... Okay, there we go. It's going to an unnamed requester. It's going to the mall. I think... Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not where it's actually going. Where is it? It's going here. Which is the new build, actually. Is this not got a name? What? Hold on, what? Oh, on the other side. Does this not have a name? It does not. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, Heat Shield LDS. Well, we can't rename it until this train comes in. There we go. Heat Shield LDS. Uh, glass. And steel. Requester. Going into a big old manufactory. And out comes multispectral mirror. And it's working. And you're waiting for multispectral. Oh, and as we've previously established, the loader. The loader has effectively a lower priority than the inserters. So that's going to fill up before we get any gamma ray detectors. So we should probably check back here later just to make sure it's working. Uh, that means this has to be full before we get any solar panels as well. Mm, that's a little bit inconvenient. What? I thought I set you to black... I did set you to blacklist. And it started picking up scrap. Now I have to fix it. Okay. Let's get rid of these while we're here. Back to the mall. How far is it? It's right over here. And back to the teleporter. Boop. Boop. And... I guess I'll borrow this train. We have not been researching. Uh, Energy 4 is still waiting on probably the same thing. It's going to be quantum processors, which is Holmium Cable. Why should we still be waiting on Holmium Cable? And what's wrong with this train? Probably because I had a provide stack threshold of exactly 100. And items got pushed to the front. I think there was a reason that we don't just cycle it like this, right? Well, whatever the case, let's fix this first. Before that gets put in the wrong train. I think I just messed up the balancing here, because the Shift-C dropped some things in the input over this side. Probably shouldn't build things that are dependent that way to begin with. Alright, back we go. Uh, maybe 
maybe I should help the poor little bots. That flashing on the map is troublesome. Oh, I could have done it remotely, actually. Just temporarily bump this up. Probably not ten times. That might be a bad idea. Huh. How much more do we need to... Like, 90. There we go. Okay, maybe I could, maybe I should bump down the requests here. Whoops. Seven thousand five hundred. One point five train loads. For the stack size fifties. Uh, that's exactly a train load. That's two train loads of holmium, isn't it? No, it's 1.6. What am I saying? Uh, I can math. And 30k. That should do it. Okay. Now, how long till we see Holmium Cable moving? What's going on with Holmium Cable? We have loads of it on the ground, last I checked. Is it because we've only got one train cycling it? Probably. How do you pump multiple fluids in one station? Uh, with the logistic train stop output, the yellow combinator thingy. When the train comes to drop off fluid, it'll uh, it'll output a negative one for lubricant or the chemical gel. So you can just read it from that. Awesome, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Zethras, welcome also. How far along are we on the SPM goal? Uh, it's hard to say because it's a bit, you know, stopping and starting. But, I mean, most of the infrastructure is in place. That is very full. Disturbingly full, actually. Because that's the recycle input. Hmm. One fifth of the way to making other things here. Maybe I should go grab the uh, mirrors that we've got lying around here. There's 14,000. Which is... It's a significant chunk of one train load. Out of 5k. I'll probably just empty my pockets. Somewhat. Oops. Not, not combinators, please. sure what that's doing there. Oh yeah, I was supposed to do something with a white beacon. With the heat shields. We could do that remotely. Pretty sure. Heat shield LDS. I can never... Oh, there it is. Right next to these. Okay. What was I doing? Just 
Don't think we need flare stacks right now. Or mining drills. Alright, I was going to take the... Mirrors. Oh, there's a lot more here than I thought. What? I thought we had like one point... Uh, okay. Okay, that's... That's fine. Bonk. Could have got hit by a train there. And now we can actually start making some solar panels and gamma rays. Cool. So we know that's working. And we know that's working. And we know that's working. Fantastic. Uh, I guess I have a few too many multispectrals here. Not for long. Okay, that's a little slower than I thought it was. Wait, why? Oh, the train took it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I wish I could set up LTN without any extra circuitry to sort of behave as a latch would be one way to deal with the balancing issues. Because we could set it so that we have to have like two whole train loads. Limit this to 100 stacks. Uh, before trains are scheduled, but then you could schedule two trains. And then ignore the rest until... Like, that way, you could set the provide threshold higher, but also potentially actually use everything that's there. Anyway. Can we... How much is here? 44k. Almost 100. Can we perhaps... Pump all of this over here. And if we run out of it, we'll just get some more. I don't think we'll be using this very much from this point on. I could get a train to retrieve what's left of these fluids. 47k lubricant. Uh, actually, just disconnect that. No, we need this connected. Okay, so some nonsense signal. There we go. Borrow one of the LTN fluid trains. Here it is. Wait for inactivity. And then go drop off our lubricant up here. And then we don't need any more wires. We'll do the same thing with the chemical gel. 
there should be room for it down, well, at either of those drop-offs, actually. I don't think uh, LTN is going to know what's coming, though, with that temp stop. So we'll have to fiddle with this a little bit. Yeah, no. Doesn't even have a signal on this. Okay, so that needs to be less than zero. And then we'll just do the same thing again. I guess I could have used the same train. A little bit late. Give this one a rest. Go here, wait for inactive. Go here. Wait for fluid count. Zero. And that'll be close enough. And we can dismiss all of this. No more scrap is coming from here, so let's just get that picked up. Actually, no, not with a short train. Looks like we got it in time. Uh, who is just leaving the depot? You are. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. I don't think the trash... Uh, the scrap drop-off is super dependent on this being perfectly balanced. Actually, it might be. Are we still using the old system for scrap? No, we're using all of these. Yeah, as long as the train... Can collect all of it, it should be fine. Actually, this waits till it's full, right? So we need to tell it to go downstairs. Oh? Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Oh, that was a different train. It's one of these ones. I don't think that's the one, because it says it was looking for 5k. Five 5k... 5 3.8, there it is. So you're not going to leave. I guess you are going to leave if we wait for this one, but I would rather be left with exactly one train load over here. Alright, and then when it goes downstairs, uh, I'm pretty sure the scrap... What the heck are you doing? No, come back. Oh, come back. Up the elevator. Up the elevator, depot... Oh, this is just a vanilla schedule. That's why it's wrong. Yeah, I must have missed this one. Okay, could you just go to a depot and chill? Or better yet, go to an LTN depot. Get reassigned. Let me just check that it's got... The batteries and stuff. Yes. Alright. Go to an LTN depot and all of your problems will disappear. Anyway, uh, what we were trying to look at is the scrap does get... Oh, you too? Don't think you'll escape. 
Wait, I think that was the wrong one. This one. There we go. That should be labeled as an LTN depot. A two length LTN depot. Okay. Hopefully we don't have any more trains endlessly looping. But yeah, it looks like uh, one cargo wagon goes to these, one cargo wagon goes to these. But it's perpetually empty, so it's fine. And it, the output is merged, so it should be fine. You as well? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. You as what? No, I was too late. Uh, where is it? Is this the one? It is. Oh, it went to an LTN depot upstairs. And schedule reset. That'll that'll work. Glad I caught it, otherwise it would have been a big mystery. Maybe we should... Nah. I was thinking of refactoring the scrap processing so that we do, like, direct insert or something, but... Considering all the outputs, that's really not going to work. Probably put some nice floor here, though, so that our eyes don't burn out. You're doing the same thing. Please go to an LTN depot. What about you? You're fine. All right, floor train, if you please. Wait for at least 20 seconds and wait for inactivity. Okay. Meanwhile, multispectral mirrors go burr. Oh, and our poor train has been waiting for our go ahead the whole time or oh, the pumps have there we go all right so all of this is drained of well it's pretty much drained of fluid still pumping the remaining like 4,000 of this very slowly. I'm not motivated enough to speed it up. Oh, we have a one stack. Because that's deliberately limited. Now there's even more scrap here. God, nah, it's fine. It's barely anything. Uh, we could probably remove this entire block, right? Just wait for the rest of that fluid to pump, though. Why is this here? It's it's obviously a temp build, but I'm so confused. Fill vitalic acid barrel. Why would we do that? Uh, who built this? What? Fill vitalic acid barrel? I'm so confused. There must have been something that we wanted just as a one-off. That requires bioscrubbers as well, no doubt. Is this it? Unit capsules? No, we made a bunch of those at where we're doing our science. I 
I'm so confused. Isn't it used in some modules? Uh, not in space. And no, I don't think it is. How are we doing for modules? Ooh. Well, it's not a large amount, but it is something. Let's see. Production. Last hour, tier 9 modules, 10 prods. Last 10 hours, 37 prods, 169 speeds, and only 13 efficiencies. That other war crime rocket? No, that was, uh... That was over here. It doesn't... It just needs... Stuff that we find here and the occasional extended bio catalog. Which we just feed in manually. Hmm. Uh, still no progress on sites? Cables. I don't understand why cables are so slow. Also, we can get rid of this uh, vanilla train stop here. That's going to modules. That's going up the elevator. Let's let's follow it. So it gets dropped off over here and then a vanilla train a vanilla train takes over. Not a terribly long trip. Uh that train is Currently busy, and there's a bunch of plastic waiting here already. So yeah, evidently we need more throughput. Why are you... Oh, you're not allowed to drop off until this is removed. We should probably make another train with this schedule, even before we make another... Uh... Another channel, if you like, for a whole meme cable. Now, where is our train? Wherefore art thou? I think it just left this station. Where is it? Uh, that's the one that's draining out the old stuff. And that's the old plastic. So it's downstairs. Yeah, it just came through the elevator, more or less. So, we want to copy this train. Uh, where is it? That's not it. Is this it? Yes. We want to copy this train. And build it right about here. And we'll do the parts insert. Which is basically just a Mexican wave to make sure we put the engines in first because they're 2x2 two two or 4x4. Four four. Oh, off you go. And maybe that alone is going to be a huge help. But once we uh, once we do another few items into another one of these blocks, we'll definitely add another channel for Holmium cables. Also, we should probably go retire 
uh, these two. Whoops. Since they're just a bit confusing. HMA20, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not that one, the other laggy one. Other laggy one? 1k more hours and I will reach my levels. Oh my lord. Right, let's go back to the ball so we're not wasting life support. It's been almost 3 hours. I might take a break soon. Uh, how much longer till triple F anyway? Like 15 minutes maybe? I think someone said it was... 20 minutes before, but then they said it was, uh, daylight savings time, actually. Okay. Oops. Yeah, it seems like we've always got a train, well, we've often got a train... Waiting its turn to drop off here. Should be an hour sooner for you. Okay. Well, uh, I pretty much need a break now anyway, so... Let's set up some words. And Veldak will cheer. That didn't take long. Thank you for the follow tag note. Alright, that should be good to go. Do some LTN screensaver. Actually, I might just save it real quick. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Get them! Raus! Raus!
Okay, nicely done. Let's pause the words and continue with Factorio. Now, where were we? Good question. Are the trains confused? Or rather, the construction bots in the trains? There we go. Okay. Please tell me we've had some research. Nope. Apparently we're still moving the Holmium cables too slowly. Alright, well, I guess that's enough procrastinating it. Let's just hurry up and do another one of these builds so that we can move more cables. We might end up doing Holmium cables kind of like material testing packs or scrap since apparently we need a lot of throughput for those relative to their stack sizes. Um, I think we decided Biomatter is going in the dustbin of history as far as items that we bring up the space elevator are concerned. Let's just dump this stuff in the mall, I guess. So we're going to change this thing's schedule. Wait. What? Come back. Okay. Wait for full or wait for inactivity with item count. Uh, biomatter. Greater than zero. Wonder if triple F will be in five minutes, one hour, five minutes, or two hours, five minutes. It's always a mystery. There was daylight saving switch last weekend. I'm curious if it affects automated release. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, so we want to drop this off up here. Wait for empty and keep doing that until there's no more... No more biomatter. Left in this block and then we can build another one of these. Do we want to put it here? Yeah, it's probably fine. Like, the rest of these sh should be f fairly low th throughput, I think. I don't think we need that much. Uh, coal upstairs does go into nutrient gel, but one coal makes 50 nutrient gel. So it's probably fine. It's probably not that fast. Data Gnome, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. US switches time this weekend. This Sunday. The whole US. You don't have weird regional differences in uh, daylight savings. Sounds lovely. We absolutely do. Okay. Arizona never changes. Can't help but hear that in the fallout voice. How many more train loads of the... Oh, a lot. Okay. Yeah, I think we will build it here. Um, but I suppose we can ha uh, get started on it. We're kind of using the floor train, uh, the space platform plating train as a decon train. Just because it's got plenty of room. I guess we don't need to remove that bit of rail, actually. That's still going to be there. Some of this might be a little bit different. Do we still have trains attached to any of these? Nope. And this train... It's going to need to be repurposed or decommissioned. 
Let's just park it up here for now. And we can get rid of all of this as well. Assuming there's room left in the train at this point. Which is a maybe. Don't actually need this part. Okay. And once that's out of the way, we'll place down the blueprint and reuse what we've got here. Worse when parts of a state don't change times? Oh my goodness. RV Park, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Stack size 200 items really do have an issue with this. But I'm pretty sure we don't really need that much glass overall. That's why you started an hour later for me today. Never thought about it. Oh, I see. All the more reason for me to try to stick to the old start time. I've just been struggling lately, health-wise. Elevator fluid already blueprinted. It's going to be a bit of a pain to move this stuff around to refactor it, though. I mean, some of these are relatively cheap, but we really don't want to waste 200,000 vitalic acid, for example. Alright, that's going to take a little while. We should probably focus somewhere else while this is happening. Also, I wish we could see uh, how many free slots we've got, uh, how many stacks of storage we still have at a glance. I'm sure there's some mod that tells you. Looks like we're pretty full, though. Alright, what should we work on in the meantime? There's our refactored barrel. Looking quite good. I wonder how consistently these have been running. 172 per second. But the output is saturated. Yeah, I remember some of these ratios were a bit... Uh, a bit off, but we picked the bottleneck that we prefer. Oh. Molten holmium is... Uh, barrel is super saturated. Yeah, barrel's... Barrel's been fine for a while. Okay. Good to know. Holmium... Let's see what the holmium ingots themselves. They're super saturated. So we've got, like, practically infinite holmium and practically infinite holmium cable downstairs. Uh, last few times we've checked. Let's go get rid of this old thing. Decon train. Wait for inactive. Uh, it's just a logistic issue of moving the cables upstairs fast enough. And considering this train is sitting here just waiting, I think we probably already have enough. Just by adding that extra train. Let's see if we're actually making... 
quantum processes. Looks like we're just getting started. Quantum... Yeah, we literally just got started. Or at least this minute we just got started. It's been going... Uh, somewhat consistently the last hour. How fast can this eat cable? Three and a half stacks per second. That's pretty fast. Uh, how fast are we capable of making it with our current builds that we've got downstairs? This alone is three stacks per second. And this monstrosity down here somewhere uh, is going to be a lot more than that. So 470 per second-ish. A lot more than we're consuming upstairs. So it really is just a logistics issue. Okay. Domitium, welcome in. What is your research multiplier? Yeah, don't have one. B believe me, the the regular resource demands of uh, of science in this are quite enough. Demands pretty ridiculous throughput of certain items uh, at the beginning of the production chain. Very big base for one times? Uh, well, we're still not keeping up with it. I mean, Vitamelange is very slowly saturating still. But I'm pretty sure that's going to fall apart as soon as we do some research that requires uh, bioscience packs. It's not just because we're in the process of uh, porting over our old bring things up the space elevator system. How much longer is this going to take? I know we've only got the one train moving these things, but... Let's just... Oh, we didn't set this right. This is what's been happening. It's... Yeah, it's been taking one item at a time. Ugh. Or at least the minimum that the inserters can put in in one tick. Or one swing. Domitium, thank you for the follow. I like that we're 100 parts behind you on YouTube. Indeed. Yeah, I've I've started a trickle of posting those again. I'm, I'm going to fully automate it in future, even though uh, there's going to be like some tags missing and stuff. Also... YouTube's been getting pretty bad lately. I was thinking of shopping around for some other platform, but I know the other options aren't that good. But, I mean, if it's literally just going to be an archive, for the most part... It's probably fine. Nice cheap mistake. One item per travel, yeah. Jamor, welcome in. Uh, Alright, so what's next? What were we hoping to... We've already got Prod 9s in the first block. But not the second block for Vidamelange. That's a really high priority. There's, there's never enough uh, Vidamelange core fragments. Once consumption starts again. Oh, and Vidamelange. Yeah, uh, productivity bonusing Vidamelange begets more productivity modules. Because uh, that's the primary thing that we consume. Bottlenecks making more prod modules. Uh, at the high tiers, we're also looking for lattice pressure vessel. Which, I can't remember what goes into that exactly. It's over here somewhere. Aeroframe bulkhead. I thought we were saturated on barrel. Aeroframe bulkhead. There's tons of... Oh. 
There's not quite one train load here. Aeroframe bulkhead. Did we, like, not finish redoing this? We've got Prod 9s over here and a Tier 2 beacon. Only one machine, though. Maybe... Maybe we're playing catch-up and maybe it's not enough. I think we looked at... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have looked at... Like, aeroframe bulkhead consumption over the last 50 hours. It's like 100 per minute. So if this thing can do two or three hundred... 384. Uh, you can see why it probably looked like this would be enough. Uh, how much are we actually producing lately? 320 per minute at the moment. Last hour or so. Last three hours. It's like 280 per minute. That sounds like a lot for bulkheads. Uh, but when we look at, since we're trying to make prod nines, when we look at this, three bulkheads makes one lattice pressure vessel, so three train loads to one. And then I think it takes multiple train loads of lattice press, uh, uh, pressure vessels over here. 500. <laughs> It takes an entire train load of lattice pressure vessels to make one Prod 9. One. Uh, so... We could probably be a bit more aggressive with this. Um, so let me get this straight. Three train loads of aeroframe bulkhead. Yeah. Three train loads of aeroframe bulkhead. Fifteen thousand. We're getting like less than two prod nines per hour with this bottleneck right here. Even though for everything else it should be way more than enough. For our ultimate goal. So one tier 9 module in like two minutes? No, 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 not even close. Need to get a full on build for bulkhead and lattice. Yeah, we also need to support the inputs for bulkhead. So currently it wants like 7.12 uh, scaffold per second. This gives us 20. So we could definitely, we could almost triple this if there was nothing else demanding aeroframe scaffold. Um. Ugh. Honestly, we could just put more speed modules here. And then we don't have to worry about balancing issues or anything. Do we, how many nines do we have lying around? Uh, that's not nine. 54 speed nines. Okay. Can we shove those in the construction train? Why did I bring this here? Why indeed? Oh, I was going to put... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beacon 2's here. Although they're probably not necessary. But why not get it out of the way? That looks like more efficiencies than we need. I think that was for a different build. Beacon 2... Speed 6. Nice and cheap for this stage of the game. Minus 80%. Okay, cool.
Alright. And... Go back home. Pick up some... Speed nines. Which wagon can I fit them in? Probably at the back. Whoop. Oh. Combinators. Speed nines. They're on their way, and we do have some room. Okay. And park this over here. Since barrel is so saturated, maybe I should make some more of these. Even if they're only going to be temporary to support prod modules. Where would I put it? Up here, I guess. Here we go. Is that a two? It is. Uh, I'm sure this is overkill. That wants 22 arrow frame scaffolds per second. It's actually not that overkill. Alright. Uh... Put some, put some E sixes in. Oh, that's right. Six to nine doesn't make that much difference, does it? For speed. Wait, what did I just? No. Actually, I should have checked. No, we only had speed nines downstairs at the moment, right? Yeah. Where is it? Plus 1600... 15.7 megawatt. Uh... We've only, like, doubled... No, I think I'd rather put some... Let's just pay the power for now. Speed nines are a lot easier to make. And I guess we're paying 45 megawatt for this one machine to make the most of these prod nines. Uh, are we... Oh, aeroframe scaffolds are probably in demand somewhere else. Yeah. So it's only... oh. Oh, it's actually only these two that go directly here. Okay, in that case... This was correct. This, this'll do. I do wish it would autofill the rest of these, not just when you put in one type of module. That should be a little bit better. So we're looking at 12.5 per second, which is about what two machines can handle. So once this saturates, which if this isn't saturated, then this isn't actually our bottleneck. We should make another one of these. Let's just slap this together real quick. What's the problem? That's not actually a pylon. There we go. Go build that. And give it some floor. Because why not? Gonna 
need some prods though. I thought I was flying. That could have been deadly. Okay. We should have some more in the uh, mall, actually. Actually, no, I think it's just these for the prods. Yeah, we got a lot of speed modules. I think we'll hit... I think we'll have enough speed nines to speed the entire world relatively quickly. But prods are a struggle. And we won't need anywhere near as many efficiencies, of course. Um, need the rest of these. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. Let's just... Let's just sort this out now as well. Can the inserter keep up with more speed? Uh, probably. Bulkheads aren't made that quickly. Also, the inserter has a stack size of 12 and swings 3.6 times per second. Oh, I forgot, we limited this. Maybe that's why I had so many. Oops. Must have missed... A step, I thought the production was 250-ish per minute. No. No, that's... That would be nice. Yeah, we can probably just leave those there. Alright. You know what? We can just let that accumulate. It's going to bug me if we leave a bunch of random mirrors that are never going to get used. Let's just get rid of them. Yeah, screw it. Let's let let's just let that saturate. Never leave any mirrors on your plate. Uh, yes. Wait, there were more modules here. A whole six. Yeah, it's fine. Sloda, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Where am I going? There we go. I keep forgetting that the spaceship floor forces you to land. Now then. This random junk I haven't put back where it belongs either. Okay, downstairs we go. This is so much quicker than riding the train. Takes a few more clicks, of course. Alright, so we got some prods, uh, and I wanted to put the prods in here. Because these prods will beget more prods. We've got ten, I guess. No, it's not quite enough. We need twenty-four. To prod all of this. I guess we could prod this. That's 12 though. Nah. Spaceship floor there, that's why we fell. 
Otherwise we couldn't put these thermodynamic facilities on the ground. And there's our prods. Now what's the problem? Beryllium plate. Why is there no beryllium plate here already? 30k. There's loads of beryllium plate. Oh, it's limited to like 140 stacks. How fast? Uh, pretty fast. That's probably enough. As ugly as it is, if I'm going to do two cargo wagons, uh, I would seriously consider on a future playthrough making all the train stops just have one bulk rail loader. And if you put it in the middle, it can actually supply both wagons. So we're never going to have to worry about rebalancing. Not as much storage space, obviously. This must be our plate. It's going to sticks. Hmm. I might just get rid of the limit here. Rebalance it by sheer volume. Because one ingot makes ten plate, right? And we've got ingots stacking to a hundred. Well, okay, we're not taking them from the containers, but still. Got a lot queued up on the belts. That's 180 plate per second. Almost one stack. Oh, my bad. There's four belts. So it's almost... It's 180 per second per bulk rail loader. Uh, should be a little bit less. Hmm. That's weird. We should be getting 73 plate per second from each machine. But the output is staying saturated. Oh, is it bottlenecked by, like, the invisible inserters here? I think that must be it. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, that's fine, I suppose. For now. Now, when are we getting our plate here? This is priority 100. Don't tell me there's plate missing here. There isn't. Hmm... make this a little bit faster with high tier efficiencies, but wouldn't really make that much difference. But I could make it not cost a million energy. Minus 80%. Make this faster. Minus 80%. Plus 600. So we only need seven efficiencies. Maybe even less than that. Plus 200. Oops. Oops. Here it comes. Alright, so we'll check on our aeroframe bulkhead production a bit later. And see if it hasn't... The fact that there are dips here makes me think it's not just going to be double. Even though it seems like the only bottleneck should be production. It's because the area frame scaffolds are getting used elsewhere. Uh, I guess we can speed this up as well. But then, is it going to be bottlenecking over here? 
Yes, yes it is. How many more speeds do we have? Lots. I think we just go ham here. We'll just go 13 speeds in each, no matter what efficiencies we've got available. And the ratios should be pretty similar to what we had before. Slightly positive on poles, even if they're getting consumed here. Don't die. Alright. There we go. And make that 13. Alright, so we should be seeing... It shouldn't be too long before we actually have Aeroframe Scaffold uh, hopefully saturated. But come to think of it, every time we've checked on it, we've got less than one train load uh, at that station, so maybe we really haven't been keeping up with Aeroframe Scaff. What does it go into again? Please don't say modules. I think you're going to say modules. Mole stuff, mole stuff, bulkhead is modules, but I mean, we knew that. Uh, it does go into Astro 3, though we're not spending that at the moment. It goes into belts, but those are slow. Uh, we can waste them on low density structures, we're not going to do that. Negative pressure data is also science. Uh, it takes more than 1.1-ish train loads to make a train load of this. So that should be like 3 and a bit per second if it's being consumed. Construction pylon doesn't matter. Space probe, 20. We don't... We haven't been making a lot of these lately. Flat solar panel. Oh, those might be getting made now. I don't think they're getting made yet, actually. Supercharger, nothing. Okay. So it should get to the point where we're saturated with these again. We have been making a few flat solar panel twos, but that won't really be happening until multispectrals saturate again. And we really don't need them right now. Oh, that is a lot of gamma ray detectors. Okay. Let's just say T for temp. Because I don't think we're going to need this build after after we've got Orb 9s everywhere. Is the thing. Bulkhead. It's trending downward, it looks like. It's weird that it trends down so slowly. About 900 per minute, 750 per minute. Mm. Oh yeah, that's why it would be trending down. Okay. Alright, well, we'll have to give it some more time to get a better idea of how well that's doing. Give me these. Give me these also. Back to the ball. Synchronized trains almost. 
Where are we? Yep, there it is. And what should be our next target? How's Cable doing? Okay, that's looking better. Nope, never mind, there's a train coming already. Never mind. Did we empty this? We did. Wunderbar. Alright, so you can wait here. And we'll pick this up. Grab our blueprint for... For what? Vanilla to LTN up. Storage. Uh, we need to change two of these signals. This one right here stays. And everything else should be correct. Now that the floor is in place. That should be fine. Let the bots place what we've already got here. Then get the construction train involved. Why is the construction train doing things. What was that about? Well, whatever the case, it's ready to go. Uh, no, no, it's doing something again. What, what are you doing? Who asked you to do construction bot things. Drive by recharge? No, every time I'm just about to... Oh, it's because a bot crashed. I heard the sound. That's why. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine that they're crashing, but... Makes sense. All right. Could you stop with the crashing? I do hope they change it so that the bot safety research actually prevents crashing instead of just, lol, they don't deal damage when they explode somehow. I think next, next run I would just turn off the bot crashing stuff. It's just a nuisance. It's not really a problem. Might take another trip to get this done, because that's a lot of bulk rail. Wait for the bots to jump back in. And give it another loop. Okay, so we're definitely going to do another Holmium cable over here somewhere. Uh, we're going to do rail, ice, coal, stone, rare metals, uh, uranium. 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that leaves like nine slots empty. So we could maybe duplicate Holmium Cable. Uh, we could duplicate things like testing packs or whatever if we find out there isn't enough throughput later on. How have we been doing for quantum processes? Not good enough. I do see the yellow light, which means we're about to be making some more. Well, that's not that bad, actually. Well, it's something, anyway. 39 per minute for the last hour. Actually, come to think of it, there was a lot more empty space in the last hour as opposed to 30 minutes, so it's probably a bit faster than that. And it was science that was waiting on the processes, right? Energy 4? Yeah. Do we have this prioritized or deprioritized? No. Fiction, welcome in. Just an early game resource sync? Uh, what's that? Oh, the bots? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully today we'll at least see science moving again. It's stack size 50 for these, right? And we've been making... how much? Uh, last, well, that's not a very good indicator. Eh, it might be. 78 per minute. So somewhere between, like, 41 and 80 per minute. So more than one stack per minute, but not by much. So that's, like, closer to two hours than one hour to fill a train load. And then, well, it's only a short train that gets delivered here. 2,500. Uh, not here. Here. It takes five to make four energy science pack fours. Oh, no, to make eight, sorry. But they stacked to 200. That's a lot. That's a lot of whole meme cable. Ouch. Energy science is nasty. Alright, let's get rid of this. And apparently we still need one more trip to finish the build. We'll do... Whole meme cable up here. Just like with uh, testing packs, for these items that we need lots of trains for, I think I'd prefer to have the most accessible uh, pickup station. So that one's going to be Cable. By our naming convention... Uh, that's going to be Cable right there. And we also want... I guess, rail, rare metals, and uranium. Or I could put the green stuff up here, but that half block is completely vacant. I guess I could have used that. I guess I could have used that.
Oops. Well, we haven't committed to this yet. Maybe I'll just leave it vacant. It'll be convenient if we need more. Where's our construction train? Where is our construction train? It's coming back. Yeah, because we, we should also have a build down below to support this already as well. Where is it? I think it's over here somewhere. There it is. Let's put uranium fuel cells over here with the other bright green stuff. And we'll do two holmium cables, I think. But why... Why are you like this? There we go. Uh, and the other one was rail. Rare metals. Coal and stone. Uh, and ice. How about ice over here? That looks kind of weird. You barely see the rare metals. Whatever. Coal. Stone. And was there anything else? I don't think so. No, I think that's it. Okay. So this one is going to be rail, rare metal, ice. Rail. Rare metal. Water, ice. And Cable. And this one is fuel cell, coal, stone, cable. Coal, stone, cable. And the station names, not station names. Uh, the signal transmitter channel names are going to be the same as these station names. Uh, we're going to want to move the existing resources. Actually, do we already have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already got a train load of these items waiting. So coal is going to be dropped off over here. Wait till empty. Go get some more. Wait till full or item count. And also in activity. Uh, and I guess we'll just wait till that's all done before we rename the other station. Otherwise it'll get confused. Same thing for stone. Drop off over here. Wait for empty. Pick up stone until full. Or some stone. 
Okay. Uh, then the same thing for rail. Goes over here. Seems good. Uh, and I think last is uranium fuel cell. Drop off over here. Pick up from here. And keep going until there's nothing left. Okay. And we can start... Setting up the details downstairs. Uh, your uh, rail, etc. Switch this off. Station name. Station name. And that should be it. Train them at one. Seems good. Uh, and then we just put rail, rare metals, ice. And whole meme cable. Just a couple of train loads of each. We'll leave that switched off, the LTN requests, until we've finished moving everything upstairs. And then we need a train to have that schedule, which will recycle one of the trains that's currently moving stuff around. And then we just do the same thing. Uh, it would probably help if I put filters here. Stone. And stone. This one is fuel cell. Uh, all is here. And last but not least. Gonna be whole meme cable. Uh, and we'll want to do the same thing over here. Rail. Actually, I can start with this because the whole meme cable will be in the right place. Uh, next is rare metals, water, ice. And that should be the same over here. With a flip. Feels kind of weird after the last few months. Could you say core egg hauler and list of random fragments? What do you mean? Could you say core egg hauler and list of random fragments? I don't understand the question. Uh, so that should be good. Now we need to set this... Whoops. Downstairs. And 
this. And this. To think theoretically, this is the last time we need to do this. Uh, and we need some requests for these things. Fuel cell, coal stone, and then this. Alright. I guess it's going to be 10k for all of these. Leave that switched off until we've moved everything upstairs. Is it done? Looks like these two are finished. Stone and coal. Uranium fuel cells. Uh, still a couple of, two or three train loads to go. As for rare metal, I don't think we got the rare metal train or the ice train started. Rare metals. Uh-oh. Did I already retire this train? Don't tell me we don't actually need rare metals coming up the elevator. That would be surprising. So far it's all mall stuff. I'm pretty sure it goes into science. It, it has to, right? Somewhere. We're making space locomotives with it, so at the very least it's convenient to bring it to the mall. There it is, electromagnetic field data. Yeah, and another one. Okay, so where the heck is our train? Did we just catch it, or did I misclick something earlier? Maybe I was clicking on the LTN stop. Oops, no, that's fine. All right, rare metal drop off go. We tilt empty. Rare metal pick up. Wait till full or some other things. That should get it all moved. Hopefully none of these need uh, short trains, so we don't have to do any rebalancing. Uh, and then the next one is water ice. Water ice is sitting dutifully over here. Drop off over here, please. Is that train stuck? Nope. Cool. And pick up the water ice. Wait till full. Or... Wait till the last of it. That should be it. I guess we... Uh, I was going to say, I guess we could already start the LTN trains downstairs bringing cables, but I would have to do, like, their own combinator or remove the other signals or something. Much easier just to wait till we move that stuff. Okay. How many modules do we have lying around? It's always just speed modules now. Fourteen speeds downstairs. 
the little elves. We need these here all the time. Okay. Are we getting close to emptying this stuff out? There's another train. Wait, no, that's an LTN train. Doing rare metals. So we'd better get this working again soon, because it's going to be demand. Water ice has a long way to go. Triple F? Good timing, I think. And uranium is Dunsky. Fantastic. All right. Let's have a look at the triple F. Facturio.com uh, Where is the thing? Where's the thingy with the stuff? Here it is. Factorio. Oh, there it is. Super Force Building. Let's see. Oh, I need to reconfigure this for the millionth time. There we go. Hello, welcome, take a seat. The tile building anime. Oh, wow. That's cool. All that's missing is the Transformers noise. The tile building animation showcased in the previous Triple F is now integrated into the game. This is how it looks. Very nice. So they're just saving us some trouble with bots and stuff. I like it. Of course, being in the engine doesn't mean it's completely done. It's still quite a work in progress. Okay. Super force building. Is that what I think it is? It is. We talked about the possibility of building ghost entities on top of ghost tiles. So you don't have to wait until landfill or space platform tiles are finished. Honestly, this should have been done ages ago. <laughs> this is nice, but obviously it was just a preparation for the main feature we missed so much, the super forced building. Control shift click equals super forced building. In the beginning we had... Sorry, the animation distracted me. Let's see. So it just figures out that it needs floor there. That's cool. In the beginning, we had just the normal way to build blueprints. Anything in the way blocked the blueprint from being built. Soon after, we realized we need an automated way to get rid of all the trees, rocks, cliffs in the way. So we added the force build mode. Since that time, frequently here and there felt it still isn't enough. Space platform building was the last push where we just couldn't ignore it anymore. Nice soon. Once we already had the super forced building mode, this was natural to include the other properties of it. The mindset being we want to force the full blueprint no matter what building rails. Oh, that's even better. You don't have to decon your own buildings, or at least you don't have to do the mental work of deconning your own buildings to place a blueprint on top. That's fantastic. 
Furrowin, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Superforce building will mark anything in the way for decon. Manual superforce building. We were only speaking about blueprints up to this point, but once the superforce building worked its way into our muscle memory, we started to try to use it when building entities manually. Uh, similar to how you can build ghosts. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. That's excellent. Looking forward to it. Belt interaction. Is this going where I think it's going? That they're showing us what we're not going to have to do again here, right? Once we got used to this, there was a pattern that started to emerge. We would superforce build over belts and then have to manually fix them right after. Not anymore. If you're a regular reader, you know that the word manually is always an indication of change. Oh, that's beautiful. I imagine that'll make speedrunners a little bit happy. I mean, ideally they aren't needing to make changes like this, but still. That's beautiful. Superb. Mining land fit. Yes, please. Yeah, that sounds nice. If you're really cheeky, I suppose you could cheese by a pathing with it, but who cares? Landfill has always been a bit tricky. As it stands, it kind of breaks a fundamental symmetry in the base building, in that everything you build can be unbuilt, any mistake erased without judgment, but with landfill, one run click and it's there forever. Indeed. It has long been on our wish list to make mining landfill work, but the code and logic around tile building and mining were not set up effectively for it. With the super force building, the problem of no way back when building landfill was even more dangerous and liable to misclicks. That makes sense. So we knew we had to make mining landfill happen. Through hard work and dedication, able to clean up all the tile build and mining code, handle the cases of collisions between entities and tiles, and make it work in a really nice and intuitive way. You can even see some evidence of the groundwork for this in the 1.1.5 release. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so nice. You can notice that the landfill underneath the player wasn't marked for decon. In general, landfill can't be mined if there's something on top of it, but typically entities on top will also be marked for decon. With the new super force building, it's only natural that we make the interaction with the landfill work in the opposite direction. These both put together... Did I not unpause the game? I did not. Rip. These both put together make stamping down steam engine or reactor setups so much nicer. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, that is just an improvement to the game coming in. I wonder how it decides what belts to use? Hmm... Probably looks at what's already there. Okay, well, the blueprint... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the blueprint is... Or, or the ghost dragging is to put something in the way of belts that are already there. So it's going to want to replace it with the, the color that's already there. I wonder if this will work with splitters for when you want to pull resources from a bus. Yeah, that shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. 
This only makes steam engine or reactor stuff simpler if you are lazy and landfill lakes. But with the way Factorio fluids are so viscous, uh, they're so thick and slow. You want to have your pumps right next to the uh, right next to the machines, so it's more UPS friendly because everything's just saturated immediately. Tag note, welcome in. It'll also add a option though for new train heights, like prioritize going up instead of through. Hmm. I think depending on what you're dragging where, it, it can probably be pretty intuitive, context sensitive. But yeah, that's fantastic. They took some stuff that we wanted for ages, put it in, and then, you know, played with it a bit and said, well, obviously now what we want is to do this and this and this, and they just did it. Beautiful. Fluids really are not that thick. The pipes are too thin. Are you trying to force too much through a pipe? Uh, I, I, I'd beg to differ. When we have like... No, let me just close this. When we have like... Uh, why can't I move? There we go. Where's a good example? There's a really good example down here, actually. Right now, this instant, we've got like 25k in this tank, and there was like almost double that in this tank. Uh, it should not take that long for this to rebalance. I, I think that's kind of crazy. Like, look how long this takes. 39,000, 40,000, 15, 16... And that imbalance uh, has... Uh, that's while this is being spammed, like, more is being added to it, by the way, very, very, very quickly. 2k per second. Um, yeah, I, I don't think at any point this should be twice as full of as this for more than, like, a second or something. Now it's literally full and this is still half full. And these are really big containers, 50k, so uh, it, it's definitely not that the the width of the pipes is too small. If I delete this right now, all of that goes instantly into this container. Isn't an unreasonable balancing rate? They're not the same tank, and flow between tanks is, uh, will be restricted. I mean, even when you've got, like, these 200k tanks with the multiple connection points on the sides, it still does the same thing. Which is why so many times I've lamented that I didn't make the uh, this part of the rail block one tile wider. Because we'd be able to have a 2k tank, 200k tank, uh, on the outside with pumps going directly from the fluid wagons into the shared tank. It doesn't need to rebalance at all. Makes it much, much faster. Okay, uh, what are we doing next? Should have finished moving these by now, right? Actually, I didn't unpause the game while we did the triple F, but it looks like maybe we've finished it regardless. No, nope, we're still moving up. Oh, that's a lot of ice. Stack size 200, it's not that surprising. Not that surprising at all. How about rail? Rail is done. Stone and coal are done. So it's just ice. Not very surprising, considering it's the only thing with stack size 200. 
There should be way more than a couple of train loads here by now, though. So yeah, we can start uh, programming the uh, the LTN. But first, let's get a couple of trains. Um, why can't we find fuel cells? There we go. Which station are we looking for? Is it the provider one that's downstairs? E yeah, provider with vanilla train stop. Okay, so... Provider vanilla train stop. Go downstairs and go there, please. And I guess we could take any random train to do the same thing with this one. And once it gets there, we're going to put it on manual, copy this schedule, edit it, and that way we'll know that all the other steps should be in the right order. And just substitute the right train stops. Love super force building, indeed. Load mechanics are annoying because they are so fast with the pumps and the amount you need. If you need one-tenth of the current amount, speed of... the speed of rebalancing... Would not be an issue. Triple F is super nice, indeed. Okay. Uh, so put you on manual. Copy this schedule across. And which one's this again? Rail, etc. Right. So we're gonna want. Two rail vanilla train stop schedules. Full cargo goes here. And empty goes here. And that should be it. Up the elevator, stop in at the depot in case there's another train with this schedule. Uh, go drop off, empty, go down the elevator, stop at depot. Come here, wait till full. Seems good. Next one. Same thing, but we're looking for... Sell. Wait till full. Wait till empty. Wait till full. Up the elevator. Depot. Wait till empty. Down the elevator. Depot. Seems good. Uh, and now we just switch on the LTN requests. And that should be everything. Should have a couple of trains of cable on their way right now. So now with uh, four trains, actually, because I doubled up on that one schedule, moving Holmium cable... We shouldn't hopefully have too much trouble uh, keeping up with that. And if we do, I guess we're going to start using this block here. Back you go. Still moving the ice, but that's okay. We won't be delivering more ice from LTN. Because there's already enough up here. Uh, and we should probably put some station names here, but I'll wait till the ice has been moved. Okay. How has Aeroframe uh, bulkheads been doing? 
last hour. 548 per minute. There's a lot more area under the graph for the last half hour. Oh, wow. Was it really only half an hour game time? I guess we did pause it. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Still going to take a long time to get a trainload of, uh, of lattice pressure vessel. An entire train load, which amounts to one, and I didn't misspeak, one Productivity 9 module. Good grief. Maybe I'll double the, uh, the barrel, the aeroframe bulkheads again. We'll see if we're still saturated on... Oh. Yeah, that's a no. We, we are not still saturated on beryllium ingots. Um, wow. I wasn't expecting it to change that quickly. Last time we looked here, it was literally completely full. Like an hour ago. Like the ingots were backed up all the way up. Uh, the molten... Beryllium was completely saturated. All of these were... Com well, this is still completely saturated. Wait, what are we missing here? Nothing? Beryllium... Wait, what? The water? Wait, 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 what? There's too much water. Uh, I thought we were net negative on water. That's weird. That was not the bottleneck I was expecting. Hmm. I suppose we could always just add a flare stack, just in case. It is a high priority pickup for the water, right? Where was it? Over here. No, it's a requester. Very strange. Maybe with the prod modules it makes a difference. Hmm. Well, it's a pretty easy fix. I don't think we're normally carrying flare stacks in here, right? Oh, yes we are. Actually, well, we're going to use the construction train here regardless. I could make it so we have it both ways. Don't even need a construction train for this. Uh, if water is less than zero, the train is dropping it off. And if water from the logistic train stop output is greater than zero, the train is asking for it. And we just need to configure this so that we're trying to make sure we have a certain amount of water. Let's say the first 200k water is ignored slash requested. And then if we've got like 400k water, that's 200k that is available. That'll meet the provide threshold. Uh, and we need to make it a super high priority. Uh, to make sure... That we get rid of the water here as a high priority. Um, and we may as well put a flare stack here as well, just to be safe. Uh, put it under the beacon. And then... That's kind of awkward. I guess we'll put it here. 
And we can put... If we use a pump, we can put some logic here. So... At 260,000, we're offering water. This can fit 600k. Uh, we don't want to wait till it's completely full because of how fluid flow is. We want to keep this able to output. So let's say if we get up to 500k... Then we're going to ditch it. Put some modules in there, because why not? One speed module? It's a speed three? No. Uh, where's the flare stack? Flare stack. I can only fit one. Oops. There we go. I think it's still telling us the same number from before. No? 277 per second. Sure. That's probably enough. And look how quickly we've got Molten Beryllium back. That didn't take very long. Are your provide and request thresholds intentionally the same? Uh, yes. 60k is the maximum that uh, two fluid wagons can carry. So basically, uh, if we get this, this signal uh, plus the actual water, which is going to be a positive signal, if the sum of that is below negative 60,000, uh, it's going to trigger a train delivery of water. And if the sum of this and this reaches positive 60k, uh, it's going to be offering it to LTN. So it'll try and keep it within that range. Middle tank, don't that one also need an in and out? Uh, no, because we just need at least one pump in and out for each fluid wagon. Uh, not the... The three fluid tanks here are connected, so... So that'll be fine. Thanks for the explanation, you're welcome. Yeah, you can do some tricky things with LTN once you wrap your head around it. I like it. I do want to try some other uh, some other brands of train automation like Cybersynth and stuff like that. I know there's at least two others. I'm sure there's more than that. But I mean, there's at least two others that are like well known. Or relatively well known. Oh, wow. We've still got this much aeroframe scaffold despite the fact that I let this get jammed. That's pretty that's pretty uh promising. I'm wanting to try the Cybersyn one, indeed. The tanks are not a full wagon wide. Uh yeah, the, the pumps just happen to line up so that these two are on the very edge of the fluid wagons. So if you have just one facing the fluid wagon, it's fine. This would be a lot more awkward to do with solids than with a fluid. Okay. I don't suppose we're looking at some science anytime today. Still waiting on those quantum processes. They're probably playing catch up with other builds that require them as well. You can actually search by ingredient. Factory search is amazing. Uh, there's no quantum processes here, even though I don't think we're desperate for these right now. That's already saturated. We're not really using this. We're only sometimes manually making... Uh, non-basic matter stabilizers. 
I can't really... I do remember why, actually. It's because we make... Uh, energy, uh, empty singularity fuel cells. Those get reused indefinitely. Belts? It's only the splitters. I'm not using those very often. Oh. Oh, they're getting poured into energy, uh, into efficiency modules. Ouch. I think we should deprioritize. Uh... No, we, we probably should make modules at least a slightly lower priority than other builds, because otherwise everything is going to get poured into modules. Actually, I think it might do like a 50-50 split. Not sure. There goes some more cable. Oh yeah, how are we doing for cable? There's none here, because I didn't set the filter. Wait, what? Oh, is this backwards? Yeah, I forgot about that. There's like one little mistake. On this blueprint. Why has this one not got Holmium cables? Is this still wrong? There we go. Holmium cables are waiting to be picked up. And you're sitting idle. Uh, where's our train with this schedule? Did we get the schedule wrong somehow? Nope, oh, there it is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, Molten Beryllium? Oh, that's the old build, isn't it? That is, in fact, the old build. We starved it of Pyroflux to make it stop working. I still need to move all this powder, though. Yeah, we're fine. So... Aziz Light! Aziz Light? Ragamuffin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Yeah, unsurprisingly, there's been a bit of a drop-off since we let that jam. Not much compared to how slow it was before, though. Okay. There's one train load here. It is being picked up. I was going to say, if we can see a train load and it's not already being picked up, then we're probably doing well. Maybe we're there. Alright, regardless, I'm going to need a short break. So let's do some LTN screensaver, some words on stream, continuing from level 5. Where's the words? There we go. Nukes are good at cleaning. Good at cleaning, I suppose. All right, we'll do some words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. All right, let's pause the words. Continue with the Factorio. And wonder how we're still not bringing Holmium Cable up fast enough with three train schedules to support it. How long does a round trip take in game time for one of these trains, I wonder? It'd be very useful to know the train's effective throughput. Oh, also I didn't add tags here. So it was rail. Uh, let's put it down here. Rare metals, water, ice. Pick a train and follow it. Indeed. Rare metals, water, ice. And, of course, cable. And then uranium-230. I, I keep saying 230-something. It's fuel cell. Uranium fuel cell... Stone, coal, and even more cables. I wonder what that word starting with M was? Seems like there was no letters in between. No letters in between. Wow, that loads fast. No letters in between. I don't understand. Okay, that... Uh, that's two train loads minus a bit that's, like, stuck in the bulk rail loaders or something. There is a train coming already. There's probably a train going to be scheduled here in a second. Me to mote? Mute very few words in between. I see. Oop. Okay, this hasn't been scheduled yet. What are our LTN settings? We slowed down the scheduling. Updates per tick 10. That that should still be pretty responsive. Yeah, I imagine... I'm, I'm hoping we just saw the moment where we start hoarding cables as opposed to immediately consuming... Maybe not. Maybe not. We've got plenty of LTN trains, so that's not the issue. Yeah, we still haven't scheduled something here. I think we're... I think the worm has turned. I think we've got enough throughput to move our bottleneck. Probably. Update to tier 9. Isn't that the old barrel? Yeah, did I just like change the icon and left the text there? I guess so. Let's ride the spider. I want to get rid of the old barrel stuff, including all this powder up here. There's no spaceships we're about to walk through, right? No, we're good. A disdainful grimace. Synonym pout mur? Wry face. Mue is the word. No idea what it... How do you pronounce it? M-O-U-E. Moo? Moo. Oh my god, that was louder than I thought it would be. That's, uh... 
That's a strange word. Not one I've encountered in all the purple prose I've ever seen. You tell me you're the English speaker? Hey, I, I, I'm not an apologist for this ridiculous language. It's a French word, I see. Morpheus, welcome in, and Corinna. Hope you're doing well. You're here to see you again. Um, I guess I could... I guess it doesn't matter what order I decon these in. We've already... pretty much emptied this molten barrel. I don't care enough about these dregs. My pockets are going to be full of powder, but I think we'll be fine. That made me jump in my seat. I'm sorry. Unplanned jump scare. For spooky season. Late spooky season. Actually, yeah, no, it's definitely late. Daylight savings isn't getting me out of that one. Who is stealing this powder? It's the construction train. I forgot we had it here. It hasn't actually picked up any powder or anything yet, it looks like. Go home. I English good. Indeed, indeed. Alright, we'll use the trash slots. And how much is here? Too much. Did we turn this off? Yeah, surely. No, 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 we did not. Very, very surprisingly. Okay. This doesn't use powder, this does. Shift C. Shift C. Oh yeah, we're not putting powder in any big containers, it's just direct belt. Uh, this might be harder to get rid of than I thought. Then again... There's a little bit of input space left over. Like, almost always. Or output space, for that matter. We can just keep mashing this, I guess. How fast is it gonna... Oh, that's faster than I thought it would be. That's a lot faster than I thought it would be, actually. There we go. What do I do with this mountain I carry in my pocket, right? Big brain. Uh, thank you, I suppose. Which mod adds that? The Shift C. It's uh, what Chima calls it. Uh, even distribution. Here it is. Inventory cleanup. Shift C. More famous for distribute items. Spell horrible today, no worries. Probably just tired or something, right? You know, it hasn't happened in a long time, but one of the stranger things... Uh-oh. Uh, one of the stranger mistakes that I make when I get tired is... When typing, I'll type a word that sounds similar. Like, in much the same way I might say the wrong word, uh, because it sounds similar. But I'll actually type something entirely different. Is this working? Yeah, it is. Distributing? Even more famous for distributing items everywhere. Yes, indeed. Uh, I am pretty good at typing. Not like ridiculously good or anything, but good enough that it can flow like water. Like thoughts directly to text. 
So it's not that surprising that when my brain no worky right, it can efficiently do the wrong precisely. It, it, it can efficiently do the wrong thing in a precise way. Let's put it that way. That lag? What lag? What? Don't ask what I mistyped in my code. I wanted to type count. Uh-oh. I will not ask that. And fell tank. Why is it not? Oh, there we go. Bots were trying to get back in the inventory. This is a family channel when I feel like it. Okay. Turtle, welcome in. That has to be a pretty common type. <laughs> uh, no comment. Okay. Did we clear this? Not quite. I'm sure in the source for most of the applications. <laughs> oh no. Nice. Old build. Completely gone. Uh, completely gone. C completely... Completely gone. There we go. Probably should turn off the EXO if I don't mean to run into a train. Struck by a train is a fun card in Modded Spire. Not so fun here. Alright, and we also wanted to get rid of this, right? And this. Majority of people do use Windows, just quite a bit use Linux in this community. The Factorio community? Uh, we were getting rid of all this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. Did I do something bad? We were pumping... I'm pretty sure this is all temporary. Pumping... Oh, look at this mess. Yeah, that has to be temporary. To drain out the old... Beryllium Hydroxide. Oh, I see how it is. We're still requesting the... The old sulfate. But it's gone now. That is a lot of powder. Even with how quickly we were getting rid of it just now, that's going to take a moment. Windows should still have a market share of like 90% of PC market or so. An insignificant data anomaly using Linux? Rude. Although, having played around with it once or twice, I certainly can't blame people. It's like, it's almost like the opposite of the Apple philosophy of UI very important. And 
ease, ease of use and so on. Instead, it's like, no, you're wrong and you should feel bad if you think that way. Is there some, something on the ground? 139 stone, randomly. We will not tolerate random stone. 70%, 20%, 3% as of July 23. Switch to MacOS almost a decade ago made me a very happy person. Touch windows only when I have to. Till you get into server stuff where like, well yeah of course, but your average person isn't touching server stuff. Too much stone? I know. We have to clean this blemish off of our flawless base. The sound effects are a lot slower than the mining. It's kind of, uh... Kind of off-putting. Don't you have a miner and some speed mods in your pocket? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, let, let's look while we mine. Is there a miner in this inventory? I don't think there is. I don't think so. We're almost done. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. Work IT support and occasionally people with Max ask me things. Okay, that's it. I'm surprised I noticed that. I thought it was like a uh, solid rocket fuel just sitting on the ground for some reason. It was not. We do have a entire Spidertron of inventory we can use here. That might help a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, that's like most of it. Okay, just how quickly does Shift-C get rid of this? Mm, kind of hard to see. Oh, wow. So much faster than I realized. Still a little bit tedious. Because we can't just wait till more space opens up, because it's constantly, uh, saturating. Still much easier than, like, making a temporary drop-off for it, and then... ...coming back later. Did it stop? No. Okay. One more trip. Where is it? Down here. Well, I would love to be able to upgrade my PC without buying a new one. <laughs> right. Preferably without any glued-in RAM or anything like that. Oops. Why did my muscle memory say 3? Because I used to use 3 to move this around, I think. Okay. Wait, there's still powder back here, isn't there? God damn it. I'll get rid of it off-stream. 
You know, I could always just turn these output belts around. That would be a lot faster. We're almost done, though. No, we're not. Okay. That alone should be enough. To make this a lot quicker. Assuming this is getting consumed, which... Why... What? Why is this so slow? This one is getting fluid and this one isn't? Because the pump is stealing it all. I see. Get out of here. Still so much slower than I thought. How how fast does this consume? Doesn't seem to be that much different since I cut off the belts. 654 per second. Well, we do have a lot to get through. I will admit that. Never seen a second-hand market for Mac PCs. Indeed. Okay, we got rid of it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it's actually about time to finish up for today. So let's find someone to raid. Factorio. Who's doing SE and or K2? Probably Mr. Dane. I don't think we need to look any further today. There's also a zoom tag. SEK2 times 100. And there's the original spaceship, but it's been repaired. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. We'll be continuing with SEK2 tomorrow and the following day. Uh, maybe mix it up a little bit as well, but uh, I will be doing SEK2 regardless. Um, see you all then. Thanks for hanging out, Evil Pla, Total, Furwin, Beldak. Jamort, everyone else, Nagaskin, including all you lovely lurkers, stay safe. Totals, does it reach to here? No.